Welcome back, Cartridge Kids, to Silence of the Sleep. So, we just got the key to get Gerald toilet paper, and it also lo unlocked the therapy room. And in the therapy room, we have to get to the filing cabinet, but we need a bobby pin or some sort of pin. Yes. Oh, shit. This is crazy. So we need some sort of pin to get to pick that lock. Is there anything else in here? Okay. So maybe he'll give me a bobby pin or something. Maybe he'll poop out a bobby pin. Guess what I have? Toilet paper, hopefully. Get ready. And here it goes. Yeah, thanks, Jacob. No problem, Gerald. Now have fun. I'll give you some privacy. Yeah. Oh! Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Hey, Jacob, how are you? Good, thanks. Did you want something? Yes, I talked to Mr. L. Mr. L talked to you? Yes, he's having some issues with his hair. He asked if I could find him a hairpin. He really needs it to sort out this hair thing. Good thing you asked. I have a hairpin right here. Thank you, Jenny. My pleasure, Jacob. Yas. Yas. I don't know why I didn't think of. Thanks, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny, you saved you saved my life, Jenny. With your hairpin, Jenny. Oh, but, but, uh, eh, but wait. I still have the key. There we go. That was fucking weird. This is locked. Blah, 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 blah. There is a hairpin. Okay, come on. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, come on. It's bouncing back and forth. Yes, got it. The hairpin broke, though. Let's see. Nope. Here. Okay, got Dwight's records. Okay, I better return the key to the cleaning lady. Yes, let's do that. Let's get out of here before anybody sees me. Uh, key, there you go. Hello. Hello, dear. Did you find the toilet paper? I did. Thank you very much. Here's your key. Thanks for letting me borrow it. No problem, sweetie. Thanks for helping me out. Anytime. Bye now. We got it. Hey, Dwight. Hey, Jacob. Did you get my records yet? Oh, yes, I do. I lied. Yes. Here you go. I, I hope this helps somehow. Thank you, Jacob. Sorry, I don't think you could leave me alone for the evening. I really appreciate what you did. I really do. No problem. Good luck, Dwight. All right. Let's 
see. Where do I go now? Tweets are freaked out. Yes. Good evening, Jacob. How are you feeling today? I'm fine, thank you. Glad to hear that, Jacob. Jacob, let's talk about your painting. <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong with it. I noticed it's very little paint. I used I thought it was that's minimalistic. I don't I didn't notice. <laughs> what could it mean? Fear of the unknown. I'm definitely afraid of the unknown. I also believe you're afraid of <laughs> that you could lose control. I believe the amount of paint you use came from your subconscious mind. Oh God, why, why did I have to draw a penis? It make <laughs> what makes you think so? <laughs> it was the comfort and understanding you required to build the balance again. Your life has <laughs> has been chaotic, right? I believe that your painting, something small, gave you the feeling of being in control again. All right, let's move on. Yes, I agree, I agree. Remember the first evening you came here? You told me your journey and mentioned a woman? Yes, I remember. I would like to learn more about this woman. Do you know who she is? No, but I felt her presence through my journey. Would you explain this feeling? How can you feel her? It's a little difficult to explain. The f I first saw her in the motel before I left. That, what did she look like? You'll call me crazy if I tell you. Go ahead, Jacob. That's why... Don't be shy about that. She appears as a ghostly figure. Raising her head, I heard a whisper. Go on, help us. Interesting. Us in the plural. I wonder what the significance of this. Me too, Clifford. Me too. Jacob, I believe that the woman is important somehow. I suggest we all focus on her in hypnotherapy. Close your eyes. Listen to music and relax. So I'm passing out again. I don't wonder what this therapy session is going to bring me. Probably more pain and suffering. More misery. Okay, so that's fucking horrifying. Ugh. 
Oh no. What are these gross, freaky, fucking hand danglies? I don't. I really don't want a part of this. Really don't want any part of this. That one's really big. Oh god. I don't. There's one more. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I gotta. Maybe these aren't Thank you for helping me. Wow. My name is Jacob. Your name is Alice, right? Alice? No, no, that can't be right. Where did you come from? I th think this is my dream. What am I doing in your dream? I am I essential? Am I alone? I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, I don't know why, but you seem familiar. Do I know you? I believe I'm dead. You have... Have you seen my baby? Shit. What the hell is wrong with my mind? Please, stop dreaming. Help us. Help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. Uh Where do I go now? That, that chick's freaked out, freaking out. Nothing's happening. It's locked. That's still locked. Oh. It's stuck. Maybe I can ram it open. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to ram it open. Definitely going to ram it open now. Oh, shit. Murder. Who? What? It's a bath full of blood? It smells foul. Oh, 
shit. That was a person. Jacob. Oh shit, I'm losing it. Jacob, are you alright? You're screaming. I can't take this anymore. I need to get out of here. Calm down, Jacob. What did you see? It was what difference does it make? I can't be helped. That's all it's all gone to hell. Don't give up, Jacob. After such an experience, you may feel like that. Please, let me help you. Okay. I'll try. Jacob, what did you see? I was in the motel again. Alice, or I don't even know who she is, was standing there. Alice? Why did you call her that? When I was visiting the motel earlier, I, st I talked to her. Her name was Alice, or so she said. But now she says that I c that can't be right. Interesting, Jacob. What did you two talk about? She asked me to f find the color of her hair. Huh? Yeah. Well, that's nothing as after she turned into something. A monster. Go on, Jacob. I broke a door to escape and it led me to a bathroom. I knew the bathroom for my journey. There was a bathtub. You wouldn't believe the stench. What happened then? I searched the bathtub and I grabbed something. It felt moist and s sticky in my hand, but I, I pulled it to the surface. What was it, Jacob? A lock of hair. And it was still attached. The woman crawled out of the, a woman crawled out of the bathtub. I'm sorry, Jacob. Do you think you still have the strength to continue? Yes, let's 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 see though. You saw a ghostly figure of a woman, a woman called Alice, and a woman from the bathtub. Are they the same person? I don't think so. One was asking for help. The other two tried to warn you. I don't know, Clifford. I it's so confusing. Yes. Jacob in our last therapy session, the word guilty came out. Now, there's something precious of, of a woman. Now, there's a presence of a woman. I could see where this is going. I've done something horrible, and my mind is blocking it. That is possible, Jacob, but it is also possible that there is a whole other side to the story. Remember, one of them asked for help. Jacob, do you think you still have the strength for one more task? Yes. Good. Good. I would like you to look at these pictures and tell me what you see. Okay first one. Take a look at it. What do you see? What do you think it looks like? It's telling the truth. It's him. Do you mean... Who do you mean, Jacob? This mystery man. He's been helping you through my journey. Hmm... Interesting, Jacob. Okay, how about this one? Him again. Huh? Do you know who he is? No. I call him bartender. Interesting. Alright, last one, Jacob. Again, what is this? How did you meet this man? 
it's a bit complicated. He was the first person I met after I lost my memory. I've seen him every now and then. I don't know. At times he appears as a friend, but not always? Fascinating. All right, Jacob. We should call it a day. You must not give up. It has been rough, but we are getting closer. Okay, Clifford. I'll do my best. Best. Well, well, well. Back to the bartender. All right. He's probably going to be pissed at me. I'm going to guess that he knows that I talked to the therapist. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would you like something to drink? No. That's fine, sir. So, I'm here again? Yes. You're still playing ball with this, Clifford. What option do I have? I believe he is trying to help me. I need to make sense of things, and he is my best bet. Ha! <laughs> I'm your best bet, sir. Let me ask you something. Has he given you medicine? Is that what he calls it? Well... Yes, but I think that is a standard practice. And you've never asked what medicine it is? You just take it? No questions asked? Am I right, sir? You seem to kno know surprisingly well what he does. Yes. Now, you're being defensive. That is a good thing, sir. You don't know what to believe. I need to earn your tr earn your trust over Clifford, it seems. Fair enough. Tomorrow, don't take his medicine, and things will show their true colors. I don't know. That is not enough. Tomorrow, Jacob, what happens tomorrow? I'm living example of Clifford's experiments. I'm not sure I follow. Tomorrow, a person among you will attempt to end his life. Maybe he will make you believe. Who is it? You will find. You will soon find out, sir. After this happens, I hope you will take my wonder look of things. You must leave that place to find the truth, sir. Hmm. I'm not really sure what's going on here. <laughs> really? Huh? I don't know what to believe. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, looking at that black penis. Day three. All right, guys. I'm going to end the video right here. And this is getting crazy. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I... I guess there's a possibility that this guy's drugging me. I, but also the other guy wants to give me drinks, and there might be something in the drinks. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this one here.
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.